Hello everyone, welcome to another fan to play fantasy match preview. This is for the third and final ODI between England and South Africa. While it's a dead rubber for England because they've lost the series, they're playing for pride, but more than the pride here, it's South Africa's qualifying position at stake in the World Cup. Yep. So it's a must win game for them, even though they've won the series. And we have Nikhil Bhai with us today to tell you more about Kimberly and what he feels about the game. <laughs> The only more thing I can tell about Kimberley is that matches are very low. So, it's uh, very tough to rely on historic data because there are many matches. Hai. But as many matches we have seen in the process of getting some info, everyone is helping for the Pacers. The scores are not made so much. So, on the day, what are the conditions are that will play a massive, massive role? Uh, historically, if we say that, we'll just say that the Pacers are getting a little bit of help. Chasing thoda better hota, which is naturally the case. Jaape conditions are no no, so teams will always prefer to chase and back their bowlers to uh, you know make the damage up front. Yes, absolutely. That's what we expect in terms of the venue. Not going to elaborate too much on that section because there's not much cricket that's happened. There was no CSA One Day Cup game also that happened here last year, and yeah. the last ODI and in international T20s happened yeah. some five six plus years ago. Yeah. So uh, let's head straight to the base team then for this game. Yes. So base team for this game and we start with the keeping section. We have gone with Joss and Quinton. Both are looking in good touch. So there's no reason for you to leave either of them. And in the batting, you have a wealth of options. For now, we've yeah. gone with Rassi, David Milan and Aiden Makram. Everybody else is in form. <laughs> Harry Brook has 80. In the in the series, David Miller had a 50, Jason Roy had a 100, and Temba Babuma had a 100. So, practically every other option except for Ben Duckett has crossed 50 in the series. Yeah. So, it's not, there's no justification on how and why you can leave either. So, venue conditions become very, yeah. very crucial. And what you hear there will dictate the story to you. And why we have left these guys out is because when you look at the all-rounders and bowlers, they have taken wickets too. Maybe not yeah. in heaps and bunches, but good enough for them to give you fantasy value. Sam yeah. Curran scored a uh, good score in the last game, took a few wickets. Moin Ali hit 50 plus, and Marco Jansen was again brilliant with the bat and bowled at the death. He bowled his full quota ahead of yeah. Noke and Ngiri. So that's a big sign for you. Nikhil Bhai, now you tell me, how do you approach this scenario? Where you have Wayne Parnell, who even though he was ambling in that last over, he might end up playing again. He looked very good in his first seven overs. And then in the batting, you have all these options. You have four or five options, guys, who we are leaving out, but all have 50-plus scores in just two games. Yeah, absolutely. So, I think in such games, what I try and do is, but the difference will be more stark. So, whichever way I feel the game will happen in terms of venue conditions, I will rely on one team. Banaunga. If I assume that the new ball will fall down, then I will select batters who are in the middle order. Because I am expecting that the new ball will fall down and the new ball will fall down. So in that scenario, you can back the informed guys, both with the ball and bat. That is the one way to go. And by informed, here, when you have seen the match, you will know how to play. So, like Viren has highlighted me in the off-record that the Brook innings had a lot of chance. So, it's like that a lot of times. But again, Brook is somebody who had played well in the past. So, if you want to back him, you can back him. So, we have such players who back him, which we expect that if there are tough conditions, then they should be able to see that through. So, this is not Jason Roy. Tema Bhoom again is a very good choice. So, maybe my team will be less than batters and more than all-rounders. But in my team 2, it will be just one or two all-rounders and more batters if I think there are flat conditions. Because the cover is to do this, जब ऐसा होता है कि ज़्यादा लोग विकेट्स ले सकते हैं, रन्स मार सकते हैं, तो आपको प्रॉब्लम नहीं, because somebody will cover up for someone. But अगर ऐसा होता है कि नहीं, ये दो प्लेयर ने सेंचुरी मारी, अगर आप ये दोनों प्लेयर आपके पास नहीं हैं, पर बाकी सब के पास हैं, तो you will not end up with anything. So that is the only risk that you run running. So वैसे I'll try and segregate into two different visualizations of the game, and फिर जो भी चले, it should give me enough for the first team as well. So that is how I'll try and mix and match. बाकी तो Eventually, what happens after the toss, we all know about it. Yes, absolutely. And clearly, like Nikhil Bhai said, the visualization here is, if you saw Bahuma's knock, it was brilliant, but he took one risk after another. It does not come off every day. Jason Roy came off in the first game. We saw that the risk didn't come off in the second. 
the guy batting with him david malan will not take as many risks hence he's in our team same way when you look at david miller he came in when they required 8 or 9 while he's been great touch been doing it consistently for his team it, when you bat in that kind of position it does not come up every day so guys we have tried to take in our guys who will not have to take as much of risk to start their innings which is crucial for us in terms of fantasy value because when you are complimenting david malan while opening you have to take the extra risk same way we saw generally we know, we know quinton dickock to do that but we saw quinton taking the uh, late latter role while temba took uh, took the more aggressive role so we are trying to take the chance on the guys who are taking more chances while playing yes. the innings even harry brook if you saw that innings he got a few poor deliveries he also had a few inside edges that went past the stumps these things don't happen every day it can also happen that his form just sticks with him but that is the thought process and it's important for you to know that so you can take a call yeah. accordingly and finally in the polling we have gone with nokia uh, rashid and oli stone oli stone has been differential across games i don't know why because he just looked brilliant even in the south africa t20 yeah. reason for not taking ngd is because they have totally he bowled six balls at 112 and 115 and all for, out of those six four and five got hit from sam karan so not too sure what the strategy there is and keshav maharaj also is constantly bowling short and so is reesh topley they were just stuck on one line and length and with the quality of batting that is there we have to make some sacrifices so those are the ones that we have made clearly based on what we have watched in the game bilkul to dekho ye trick bilkul rahega this game could eventually end up making you like a brilliant guy a genius or it could make you look very stupid क्योंकि ये सब अजम्पन इसी बेस पे हो आप जब टीम बनाते हो इसी बेस पे बनाते हो कि कंडीशंस क्या होने वाले और कौन कैसा कॉन्ट्रीब्यूट करेगा तो जरूरी नहीं कि हम अगर ये थॉट प्रोसेस से जा रहे हो तो आप भी उसी थॉट प्रोसेस से जाओ अगर आपको लगता है कि नहीं मुझे इतने ऑलराउंडर और बोलर नहीं चाहिए मेरे को नहीं लगता मोहन अली का नेक्स्ट फिफ्टी जल्दी आएगा चार पाँच साल के बाद आएगा तो ड्रॉ मोहन अली एंड टेक अ बैटर विल कम गुड एंड दैट इज हाउ यू हैव टू ट्राई एंड बैलेंस आउट एंड मेक अ सेंस ऑफ जो जो खेल रहा है और ट्राई उनको करो जो जिनको आपने देखा है एंड जिनको आप बिलीव करते हो कि चलेगा बिकॉज इवेंचुअली सी वेन यू विन यू डोंट मैटर इट डजेंट मैटर पर अगर आप नहीं जीतते हो उतना तो दैट इज वेन इट्स क्रिटिकल फॉर यू Okay, I guess Nikhil Bhai's stream is stuck, so we'll just wait for him to join back in. But that is the roundup as far as the base team is concerned, and as far as captaincy and vice captaincy choices, Quinton De Kock and Josh Butler are the most stable choices for you to make as captain and vice captain. Sam Curran looked good with his bowling. He also dismissed Babuma in the last game, so he'll be crucial. Aiden Markram is their sixth bowler. He can bowl some off spin, and will come in handy. in the middle order so those are the key choices that you can make if you are if you believe that south africa will take wickets in the death then nokia and giri but the key choices would stay around joss quinton de kock aden markram and sam karan these will be your key choices for the game and this is what the team looks like for now if we slot these guys in and this is what it looks like and nikhil bhai has just joined the stream back and dekho के बारे में कुछ बोला तो मेरे को वीडियो से निकाल दिया भागी दर से सो अगेन द पॉइंट वाज कि विजुलाइजेशन अपना बैक करना काफी ऑप्शंस है इस गेम में ट्राई एंड बैक व्हाट यू फील विल हैपन एंड बी हैप्पी मैं मेरा पॉइंट सिर्फ ये था कि व्हेन वी विन वी डोंट केयर मच बट इफ इट इट डजंट गो वेल रिमेंबर द प्रोसेस मैच देखने के बाद काफी इजी होता है कि इसको लेना चाहिए था यार बट द पॉइंट इज आप मैच शुरू होने के पहले क्या सोचते थे आपने उसे क्यों नहीं लिया था सो ट्राई टू रिमेंबर दैट So that next time when you make the team, you have that uh, very clear in your mind. Okay, okay, this is my thought process, or I'm going to go with this. I'm going to go with this. Yes, everyone was lauding me for making Harry Brook vice captain in the last game. So if you don't play, then please forgive me for that. Please go, go a little easy. And uh, while <laughs> Nikhil was offline, we discussed the captains and vice captains. So Nikhil, by Joss, yeah. Quinton, Sam, and Aiden look like the safest choices. And Engiri, mm-hmm. Nokia, we feel like they're bowling first because Engiri is that kind of guy. He'll take three for hundred, but you'll get fantasy yeah. value. Mil so uh, do you see Bilkul. any other choice apart from that key choice, or you feel like these are the good base choices to go with? No, instinctively, to me, all-rounder or any category ki choice hoti hai. K keeper, hmm. all-rounder, my favorite species in cricket. Me, so yes, they will be the first choice. But if, like we have said, the visualization is not as per the pitch report in the past agar road hai 
So they have to try and get a guy who you think might make a very big score. Something like a Shubman, like Gil did. If he was not the captain in that game, then you have a lot of return and a lot of chances. So because a lot of people have scored, so somebody is likely to bring a batter in as a captain, vice captain. So keep that in mind. You can go with any one of RVD, Roy, uh, Harry Brook also for that matter. So inform guys who look back, I will back an all-rounder or chat bowler. Let's see. Yes, absolutely. And now let's get to the Grand League options for this one. So, Grand League options, sir, tell us. So, Grand League option number one, Hendricks Klassen. Uh, a guy who's I felt batting very well. Uh, SA20 major Chakke Lagai, that kafi maza hai. Mujhe, I feel he's someone who's not rated much, but is starting to come into that uh, recognition now. So, he's my pick again. You have to see a little visualization. It works in both cases. If it's a good start, then he can do well. And if it's a bad start, then he can do well. So it is ticking both boxes for me. So I'm opting for him as a Grand League option for you. From the England side, again, very tough to see how they've gone out about this so far. So again, it's a common option for everyone. So I don't know if you want to go, but David Malam, I feel, is... Somebody who you can bang on as a vice captain option. I will not do the captain, but I will do vice captain. If I think that he is chasing the vice captain, because then it's the perfect scenario for him. If he comes to the score, if he wants to chase, he can take his time and not take any risk and come off. So, it's a very conditional pick. But I will try to try in any of these two scenarios. So, yes, Klassen and David Malan. Yes, very fair calls and very... Logically heavy, <laughs> my uh, logicless my two picks for this game, and uh, Reese Topley and Lungi and Gidi, they will uh, yeah. according to me three for uh, 95. Those kind of figures somewhere where they get smashed and take a lot of wickets because that's the nature of the bowling. Yeah. So j- basically, just one of these two whoever bowls first. Yeah. So just one of these two picks. The picks for this one. And uh, before we close this video, please keep in mind that. We had very less venue condition information. So it's yeah. crucial for you to decide the kind of leagues you play only after yeah. you have information on the pitch and that you're convinced that that information is correct. Only then invest because you've already removed the juice out of the series from the first two games. Yeah. So if it go and plus the dead rubber, there'll be a lot of experimentation, especially yes. from England side. So all these things make this game ideal only for mini GLs, GLs and rotation. So keep that Thank point you. in mind. We've already got the best out of the series. So let's not stretch our luck. There will always be quality games around the corner. Yeah. And have a great game. All the good luck to you. And if you've not seen the India versus New Zealand review, go watch it right now. It's already Please. uploaded. And smash the like button before you leave. Have a great one. Please do like, share and also subscribe so that we can keep doing this for long. Thank you.